to the Get Fully Funded channel. I'm Sandy Reese, Chief Encouragement Officer here at Get Fully Funded, where we help small nonprofits learn to raise the money they need to fully fund their budget. I am here to help you master the art and science of fundraising tip by tip, and I've got a really good one for you today. But first, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time we upload a new piece of content, you're the first one to know. All right, let's get to this week's tip. It's so easy to be busy, but are you being productive? This is the question that most of us should be asking ourselves, but unfortunately we don't. You see, we're all so busy, we have our heads down and we're just trying to mark things off our to-do list as fast as we can. And we never really stop long enough to ask, are the things that we're doing working? And this is an important thing to do because time is your most precious resource. For all of us, it's our most precious resource. You only get so many hours in the day and when they're gone, they're gone. So you wanna make sure you're spending your time on things that matter. So one of the things that you can do is a self audit. And I wanna talk specifically about marketing self audit. You see, it's really important to make sure that what you're doing is working and that can be a little tricky. Sometimes with marketing, you're doing things because you think you're supposed to or because other organizations are doing them, but you don't know. Is it working? I don't know. You're posting on Facebook or you're trying to build your Instagram followers, but it doesn't really matter. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to be really purposeful about your social media, about your email, about everything you're doing that counts as marketing. And I want you to evaluate each one of them occasionally and ask yourself, is this working? And if you don't know, then you need to dig a little bit deeper. So for example, I had a client several years ago who was so proud because they'd built their Facebook following to 40,000 people. And I said, that's great, but can you monetize it? Because you see, it doesn't matter if you have 40,000 or 400,000, like it doesn't matter if you have a ton of followers on social media, if you can't find a way to convert those people into donors or volunteers or other supporters for your organization. So one of the things you might do, let's say you have three social media accounts. You have Facebook, you have Twitter, and you have Instagram. One of the things you might do the next time that you ask for support for a specific campaign or something you're working on is set up some different links. You can literally copy your donation page, use a different link, find a way to code it differently, and then use a specific link for each one of those and track it. Just see, are you getting any donations from Facebook? Are you getting anything from Twitter? Are you getting anything from Instagram? And then you know. Then you know whether it's worth spending more time to post on those social media channels or not. I was working with a cat rescue a couple of years ago and we found that yes, we could get donations on Facebook and we had a couple of different ways to measure that. Not so much on Twitter, and sometimes on Instagram. So what we were able to do is say, how can we fan the flames of what's going on on Facebook? Let's stop posting on Twitter because that's probably not where your audience is anyway. And let's, let's try some things. Let's test some things on Instagram just to see what works. Now you can't just do that once and say, here are the numbers. You need to actually do that over a period of like six to 12 months so that you have some solid data that you can look at and then make some decisions about where you need to spend your time. Just imagine if you had the numbers that showed you, you don't need to post on Twitter because you're not getting anything out of it, or you don't need to be doing this thing or doing that thing. You could reclaim hours in your day that are not being productive the way you were spending them, and that could be super helpful. So think through all of your marketing activities, figure out a way to measure what's working and what's not, and then look at things that you can let go of because they're not really adding to your bottom line anyway. If you like this video, there's plenty more where this one came from. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that every time we add a new tip, you're the first to find out. I don't want you to miss a single thing.